The bill, which seeks for a law for the protection of persons making disclosure in the interest of the public, was passed on Wednesday at floor of the Red Chamber. This followed the consideration of the report of the Senate panel on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters presented by Senator David Omaro, its chairman. The Senate in the Committee of the Whole considered all the clauses of the bill and scaled it through the third and final reading. Senator Umaru had, while presenting the report of the committee, mentioned the objectives of the bill to include ensuring adequate protection of whistleblowers from reprisal, discrimination, and other consequences associated with the trend. The passage of the bill will guarantee adequate protection for potential whistleblowers against reprisals, victimizations, job losses, etc. The provision that contemplates Monetary reward for whistleblowers whose information lead to discovery of looted funds, proceeds of crime, or improper conduct is a laudable and innovative provision of this bill. The provision will further strengthen the policy currently being adopted by the federal government, which is already yielding positive results. The bill is considered a cardinal legislation in the fight against corruption. The Senate's President, Bukola Saraki, congratulated the members of the judiciary and anti-corruption, stating that a landmark has been made. I think a landmark has been made today, and this will definitely help in those patriotic individuals who risk uh, their lives and everything in showing that we fight corruption and will, by this law, be able to protect them, encourage others to pass, and at the same time also be able to have strong laws that also will discourage those that want to misabuse this law. The bill was dumped by the 6th and 7th Senate out of worries expressed then by lawmakers that it could be used as a tool for witch hunt. The anti-corruption stand of the current administration is believed to have been behind the passage of the legislation since the executive already has it as a policy that has been implemented.